Hi, it's Dr. Chris with your Friday Health Focus. This week I want to talk to you about the Environmental Working Group's list of the Dirty Dozen. So these are the foods that are the most heavily sprayed and I generally ask my patients to look at the list and pick the top three foods on there that they are eating the most frequently and commit to buying those organic. So you can Google the list, just type in Dirty Dozen Environmental Working Group and the list will come up. But I'll tell those foods to you now from worst or most heavily sprayed to the least sprayed. So the first one is apples, the next one is peaches, then nectarines, strawberries, grapes, celery, spinach, bell peppers, cucumbers, cherry tomatoes, snap peas, and potatoes. So of those foods that I just listed, if you can commit to eating those organic or honestly for myself, if I see those foods, like for example, if I'm out at a an event and there's a platter of grapes and strawberries or a fruit platter, I honestly won't eat them because all I see are, I don't actually see a strawberry anymore. I just see something that's sprayed with lots of chemicals. So. Do yourself a favor, do your liver a favor, do all your organs of detoxification a favor and get familiar with that list, the Dirty Dozen list and see which foods that, again, that you're eating the most frequently, which ones that you can try to commit to eating organic. The other list is the Clean 16 and you can Google that as well. Now those are foods that are not that heavily sprayed and you don't actually have to eat those organic Although a friend of mine said that he just prefers to eat everything organic because he wants to reduce the amount of chemicals that are sprayed in general. So I think that's also very admirable if your budget allows for that. So that is the challenge for this week to pick at least three foods on that list, the Dirty Dozen list, and see if you can go from now on eating those organic. Okay, and we'll see you next week.